Greetings, Mortals. Jared Petty here for IGN, and today I'm excited about Excite Bike. We here at IGN are celebrating 125 years of Nintendo history with a series of Let's Plays, and uh, we're looking at one of the best early titles for the Nintendo Entertainment System here in the United States. Excite Bike was one of the original uh, black box Nintendo games, one of the first ones we ever saw. It came out around the same time as uh, Super Mario Brothers here in the United States, and like Super Mario Brothers, uh, it's an enduring title, something that's still a lot of fun to sit down and play. It looks really simple when you watch it here, uh, but actually there's a lot going on. The control scheme is uh, is very well laid out. One button's an accelerator, the other handles uh, an overdrive, but you've got a temperature gauge at the bottom of the screen, and the more you press that overdrive, the uh, more that temperature gauge builds up. If you don't manage that very carefully, you're going to get an overheat and you end up losing time. So it's constantly a race uh, and a balance between switching down to your ordinary accelerator, taking your foot off the pedal while you're in the air, doing some overdrive, and hitting those little arrows like the one you see right in front of you there. You hit that and resets the temperature gauge, so you're always on the lookout for them. There are several modes to this game, a single player mode with nobody else on the track, and then this one where you're playing against some AI players. And you can do some nasty things like uh, come alongside swipe them off the road, but you got to watch out. They'll land on your heads, knock you aside, or you can crash into them as they're trying to make their way across the track. Now, Excite Bike's gameplay is already a lot of fun, but what really made us happy back in the day was its track building feature. And track building, it was, was, it was just amazing back in the day on the console, because unless you were fortunate enough to have the money for a personal computer, which most people in the United States at point, that point did not, you'd never experienced anything like this. Yeah, there used to be a construction kit element uh, to some computer games, things like Ultimate Wizard, for example, but to see this on a home game, it was, it was almost unprecedented. And here you could lay out your track. Now, even though you saw a save feature on that earlier menu, it didn't work on the NES console. So you'd have to create the and then they wouldn't remain after you hit the reset button. You could leave the thing on as long as you wanted, but the moment you wanted to switch off and play another game, the track was gone forever. So you throw it together very fast, go along the bottom of the screen, pick the each uh, each uh, letter you see below corresponds to a different track obstacle, and you go to a friend's house, throw a bunch of these together, and uh, then uh, play through the track, challenge your friend to get the best time they could on it. They build one for you. And uh, you know, it, really what ended up happening was people mostly just picked these horrible ones at the end and stacked them up over and over again, which was ridiculously difficult and not a lot of fun unless you're watching your uh, buddy try to get it done. So you put a finish line on there, decide how many laps you want, and then you could play through your track. We're going to play through that really simple one we built there. You can actually put a lot of artistry into these. We're doing a type one game, which means we're all by ourselves on the track. And here we are zooming down our creation. At first, we don't see much of anything because we, and there we go. The obstacles begin, make the best time that we can. So Excite Bike, uh, a sweet little game, uh, a colorful, fun, little cameraman effect as you switch to the background there, quaint almost, but uh, uh, surprisingly engaging even today if you get an opportunity to pull it out. So. I hope you enjoyed this little Let's Play that we did here. We got plenty more uh, in celebration of the 125th anniversary of Nintendo. And for all things exciting and bike-like, keep it locked to your friends here at IGN. Bye-bye.